No, I think it's uh, more about the, uh, the attitude because uh, I think it's uh, frustrating for me to be working seven days to to try to show them how Tottenham plays, how good they are if we let them to to play and after uh, seven days working in the video, in the, in the pitch and uh, when you go to the pitch and uh, seven eight minutes uh, later you are losing uh, one nil is uh, is frustrating because again uh, mistakes we made last uh, week we made the the week before but the the worst thing for me and the most uh, frustrating thing is the the attitude especially the first half because in the second half we were completely completely different. It's frustrating given how how solid you were defensively throughout the whole of last year. Yeah, but again, it's not about the. We were solid because we played as a team, and uh, you know when when I came here two years and a half uh, ago, the the team considered a lot of goals. We are considering goals now, so we have to to fix that the, that problem. But the only way to to fix that problem is with good attitude that they had last season, and uh, with uh, playing as a, as a as a team as we did last last season and two seasons ago. So we have one one week now to to choose and to decide which kind of team we want. If we decide to be the first half team, we won't have problems the, the, because Premier League is not the easy league. But if we choose, if we decide to be a, a team like we played in the second half, we are going to uh, win a few games. So it's in our hands. No, no, no. I think uh, we are confident because uh, once again, uh, Against Tottenham, uh, the second half they were wasting time, so it means that we we played really well, and it's just to try to to transmit them once again or to convince them that when we play as a as a team, I don't care. Last season was Championship, and this season is Premier League. When we played as a team against uh, Crystal Palace, we should uh, at least uh, run the the game. And uh, last Saturday against Everton, the first 25, 30 minutes, we. We're fighting uh, face to face with with them, and today against Tottenham, the first, the second 45 minutes has been our game. So it's just to to try to to convince them or to try to 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 bring of them that we have to play as a team 90 minutes. It's part of your frustration that you believe the players have the ability to, to do it, but, but just, you know, so it's not necessarily the step up that's frustrating you. It's their inability to, to follow through. No, but it's not the ability or the the quality because we know and we knew that Everton was uh, had better players, more quality players than us. Uh, Tottenham has uh, more quality players than, than us, but it's the, the attitude because uh, Tottenham players and the Middlesbrough players were the same today. And the first half was uh, awful for me, and the second half, half has been uh, completely different. So for a reason is just to to learn. It's, it's true that uh, we've lost uh, three games in a row, but the the team knows the. The problem, if you want to to call uh, a problem, and uh, it's just to to keep going because uh, again I said uh, after uh, West Brom game that I was really pleased with the squad, and after three uh, defeats I'm really pleased with the with the squad because uh, I know the potential of this squad. You, you, you don't play short in too much respect in the first half. No. Like the no, because uh, last week was the the opposite. The first 25 minutes at Buddison. I think it's not uh, about respect the, the opponent. It's about our attitude, about uh, going to the to the pitch, wanting to win the game, uh, forgetting that it's Everton or Tottenham, and it's uh, just uh, to to fight for um, every single ball and to to be concentrated 90 minutes. Yes, I knew, and uh, I. I, were, I didn't. I haven't done any substitution at the half time because I was expecting a a reaction in the second half. But the, the reaction came with uh, with Adama and with uh, Jordan. So for some really pleased for both of them. And now Adama. You no, know, I know everybody is going to speak about Adama. Adama this uh, this week, but we have to be calm and know how good he is. For the reason he is here, but uh, we have to keep calm with him because his potential is uh, is huge. But I have to. To teach him because uh, he's a young player and he has to to learn. I think that shows how important pace is in the Premier League. It gives you that extra dimension. Yes, so for the reason he's uh, he's here, but again he has to 
to learn about the tactics because uh, sometimes uh, he forgets his uh, tasks on the on the pitch. But uh, again, it's, uh, if we can bring something good from today, it's uh, Adama's uh, performance and the second half performance of everybody. Do you see him sorry, as an impact player or any other? No, no, no. I said last uh, last week or two weeks uh, ago. I I brought him here because uh, I think he can be or he can have impact playing 95 minutes. So for a reason, now at the moment he's uh, coming from the from the bench because he's uh, 20, 21 years old and he needs to to learn. Last season for him for him was uh, difficult. Uh, he's 19 years old. He didn't play different country, different language. Uh, now with uh, a few Spanish in the changing room with me and with the uh, Spanish people in the staff, and I'm sure that he's gonna learn and he's gonna. Have his uh, games from the from the beginning. It can be difficult for foreign players to, to adapt. Sorry? It can be difficult for some foreign players to adapt. Yes, but uh, especially when you are young, because uh, if you are an experienced player or you have played other um, seasons in Premier League, it's easier. But for him, it has been difficult. But the main thing is that he's training well. He had the uh, impact today, so it's, for him, it's uh, a good step forward today. No, I didn't like it, obviously, because uh, you know when uh, two players of your team are uh, arguing in front of everybody, it's not uh, it's not nice. But uh, I can understand their uh, their frustration. Everybody wants to to win. Both of them big uh, big characters, and for a reason, I told them at the halftime, and I told them at the end that uh, the things uh, can't uh, happen again. So it's just a, a frustration moment. So it's not uh, important for me. It was, uh, you know, uh, like uh, it was. He's been like the team uh, when the team was uh, bad. He was uh, unconfident, and uh, it wasn't an easy game for him. But the second half, he was uh, really good. And for reason, is a, a player who has come here to to help us uh, to to play, and um, he has a Premier League experience, so he's coming from Arsenal. So he's a. I said when I sent him that he's an important player for us. You said you didn't make changes immediately because you expected a reaction, but none of those players can have any complaints if you do change them for West Ham next week, can they? Of course, I did uh, today, and uh, now I can't say in the team because I have one week to, to prepare and to, especially to analyze what happened uh, today. But for sure, once again, I will try to put the, the best 11 because it's my. My way is the the work that I've been doing the last uh, two years and a half, and if I make mistakes, uh, they are mis my my mistakes. But always thinking about uh, which is the best option for the for the team. Actually, just, just a fan DM. Two years ago, when he came here, the attendance was 15,000. The last three have been 31, 32. What does that say about the project that you started and where you are now? Well, I think is the the best reflection. And uh, it's a better reflection. And uh, if I can send them a, a message now, no, knowing that it's a difficult moment in, in these moments, is just to to keep uh, encouraging us, to keep supporting us, because uh, they know better than anybody how tough has been for them to to play in Premier League then, uh, again. And for a reason, we have to to keep going together because uh, we knew last season and we know. Especially this season, when it's going to be tough for everybody, how important uh, to be together is. So, for a reason, once again, I don't have uh, enough words to say thank. Even losing 2 nil, uh, they were really good with the team, and uh, it's the, the only way that we can uh, win games and the only way that we can stay in Premier League uh, next season is uh, going together. Thank you.